Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? I had to get a little swig, wet my whistle for my conversation. So last night I was on my social media, you know, just looking through posts and stuff. By the way, this is Lydia with the <laughs> Avanti Wellness podcast and YouTube channel. So if you don't know me, hi, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe because it really helps me out. And thank you to the 110 subscribers that I have so far. So with that said, I pick different topics based on things that come up around health and wellness. Um, it can be related to body, mind, soul, and, you know, mind and soul can be personal healing, personal development, personal growth, a lesson, a thought, a way of looking at something, you know, and it's all based on, you know, my personal experience. And so I'm just sharing in case what I experience in life can help somebody, you know, think of a, think of a, a different way or hopefully be motivated in some positive way. So that's why I'm doing the channel. So I also try products and things and then talk about them and talk about my experience. And I was just thinking when I was hitting record, how I'm not really the kind of person who just does something because someone tells me to do it. It's like, I have to understand it and it has to obviously make sense to me. And then I need to do my own, you know, check in on it. And so um, if it feel I'm a, I'm a feeler. So if it feels right, then, you know, I go forward. If it doesn't feel right, if I check in and it's like a no, then I usually just don't worry about it. That's my answer. So I have been seeing, excuse me, I just took um, two supplement capsules. <laughs> I think they're digesting right now in my stomach. So I'm kind of doing a little hiccup. So anyway, I wanted to just talk about um, this product that is all over social media. And it's the one where people are, you know, get this golden spoon. And um, it's called it uh, during the today Cyber Monday. And so during Black Friday, there were lots of ads for it, because I think it's um, kind of multi level or referral based. And so individuals can talk about it and share it and then, you know, be like an affiliate or an ambassador about it. So I saw a lot of um, videos going around about this colon broom. And so basically it's supposed to like sweep your colon and um, clean it out and help you with digestion and um, help you lose weight. And this one girl was watching had lost, you know, all this weight. And so I was really just kind of digging into her social media deeper. And then I looked up the product because I wanted to see, well, what do they say it is? Um, what is it actually that they're taking or eating? And so really, it was just like a psyllium husk, a fiber um, product. And I was reading where they were saying, you know, just take like one spoon a day in the morning. And I was thinking, okay, well, that doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Um, fiber is good in our diets. And the more I'm reading and studying from the book I read called The Glucose Revolution, and the girl named Jessie is the glucose Goo Close Goddess on Instagram, if y'all want to check her out. She talks about the importance of fiber in your diet for decreasing the glucose spikes. Okay. So I've been incorporating fiber a lot more ever since, that was about over a month ago, ever since I read her book. Um, so I just want to mention like I'm eating spinach like before my meal or a cucumber, you know, putting fiber in the body. She talks about is where you um, get the fiber getting digested and it puts like some kind of a coating on your digestive tract. So when you start eating the proteins and the fats next, and then you eat your starches last, 
the starches don't spike the blood sugar like they would if you eat them first, okay? So I am eating more fiber in my diet. So the colon broom thing, you know, makes sense, but I didn't necessarily want to get involved in a whole nother product. And so actually um, people are, I did reviews on it and I saw some negative reviews about the taste of it. And so I thought, okay, well, I've already talked about this company called Sunrider that I've been buying products from for over 21 years. I got introduced to Sunrider International Herbal Foods over 21 years ago. So it was 2001 that I was introduced. And a long time ago, I started eating, you know, this supplement, it, they, their particular fiber supplement is called Fiber Tone. And um, I just thought, and there's no taste. I mean, there's no flavor. There's no like berry, you know, or whatever. It's just a capsule. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to start. I mean, I've been taking these recently when I am about to eat something that might cause a spike. I mean, even like potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, certain uh, foods that you would call healthy, like apples, um, they still spike your glucose because of the fructose in them. So it's, they're not saying like you can't eat healthy, you know, fruits and vegetables, but if you do, and you want to decrease the spike of the glucose for that particular food source, you can take fiber. And she did, Jesse did mention you know, you might want to take psyllium husk fiber. So there is um, psyllium in this particular product. It's called psyllium seed and it has other, it has toro seed, cassia tora seed, flax seed, which is common. And then I can't read. Oh, wait, hold on. Scrofularia. Oh my gosh, I, the writing is so small. I need a magnifying glass. Looks like rigorosia root. The first thing is oat brand, cassia, Torah seed, second thing. Anyway, so you know how I do things, test them, and then give y'all the results? That's what I'm going to do. I wanted to let y'all know since I have a brand new full bottle, I just opened this. I um, am going to take like the way that the colo colon broom talks about, like taking a spoonful every morning as part of your dietary supplement. So I'm just going to take two fiber tone in the morning, you know, even if I'm not eating like food uh, as a supplement, part of my, I have like some morning supplements. I have um, some probiotic I have vitamin, uh, like a meta, the, I have a Sunrider product called Meta Balance, and it has a lot of just the basic vitamins that you need in it. And then I take a biotin in the morning uh, before I drink my coffee and everything. And I'm going to just start taking the two vib fiber tone before every morning as part of my daily ritual. And then of course, I'm going to supplement fiber when I eat foods that are lacking fiber. I'm going to go ahead and add a fiber in the beginning of my meal before I eat. And I'm just curious what a consistent daily regimen of adding fiber into my diet, my into my food that I eat every day. I don't want to call it a diet because I'm not necessarily, you know, doing a diet. I don't want to misrepresent. I'm, I'm changing some behaviors and I want to show the results of those behaviors. So uh, as any of you have that read, uh, watched, you know, the previous videos, um, I'm not really like on a particular diet. Like I'm not, I, I saw this video last night of this girl who did the carnivore diet and all she ate was meat and some cheese and eggs and 
what else did she say? She oh bacon. And I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, I'm just reading and listening to so many of the heart doctors, like Dr. Gundry. I listened to him and I watched a whole video on some other heart surgeons and they're just saying like foods like bacon with nitrates in it and the processed meats are so bad for your heart. So I just feel really um, sorry for all of the people who are, you know, losing weight by keto. And I just, I'm so curious about their long-term effects of a diet like that. Like, yes, maybe you're getting the weight loss that you need for right now, but I'm just wondering, like, what is, if these heart surgeons are saying that those foods are bad for you long-term and they mess up your heart and your arteries, you know, what, it, what kind of health problems are worth being skinnier in the moment. Um, anyway, I mean, that's just like what I'm, I'm happy that people are losing weight and having success. I shouldn't say that. I just, for me personally, what I want to do is learn long-term health beneficial behaviors. That's a good word. Behaviors that create a long standing health value. I'll say it like that. So, you know, everyone talks about putting more fiber in your diet. Everyone talks about eating more plants, eating more greens. These are the kinds of things that, you know, I'm trying to go from not doing that to incorporating that on a more consistent daily, regular basis. And then hopefully the results, they may be slower but the long-term stick to of the behaviors are long lasting. So that's really what, oops, I just messed up my hair. Um, that's really what I'm looking for with my changes and my, my transformation. I'm not looking for like a quick fix. And I do recognize that it's like learning daily consistent behaviors that change the way um, your body is going to respond to them. So that's, this is what I'm going to be doing right now. Like, so this is kind of a new month, like December starting, and I'm going to do this all of September and I'm going to report back. So this morning I want to share that, um, I'm still at just 27 pounds. That's the most weight that I've lost so far since I started this journey like three or four months ago. And I have not taken photos of my pink dress, which is my, cause I want to do that every 10 pounds. I've done a 10 pound weight loss dress photo shoot. I use the same dress for those who know it's a pink dress. Let's see if I have a photo. I talked about it the other day. So it's like a pink dress like this. Okay. And then there's a 20 pound photo shoot I did. I'm just like in front of my wall is what I'm doing. And then I want to add them all to a video when I have like a bigger transformation. And so I want to show you that this morning, um, when I, when I was laying in bed, waking up, my body felt fitter and lighter. And I thought that the scale was going to be smaller, even though I just got off of a weekend holiday, you know, Thanksgiving. And I didn't gain any weight over the holiday weekend, even though I ate, you know, mashed potatoes. Um, what, what did, what was that? Uh, some squash. Um, what was that squash, squash potatoes or squash mash? What, I can't remember what we had. It was like orange. It was like sweet potatoes, but it was a squash. It was kind of orangey. And then of course, some bread and some turkey and gravy. And I didn't gain weight the next day. I was so happy. Um, I really want to say I'm attributing, attributing it to some of the things that I'm doing, but I wanted to show y'all, I took some pictures this morning there that I will, once I have more results, 
because I'm not even at 30 pounds lost yet. I'm at 27 pounds, but I felt smaller this morning. So I decided to go ahead and take some pictures so that I can, there's one right there so that I can have these documented. So, cause I've heard all these people who do like a weight loss channel and they just wish that they had more before pictures. And so, you know, over the years, like my whole life, I've always been taking before pictures and I've never had a lot of after, I haven't had long-term after experiences. Like when I lost 90 pounds, it took me about five or six years and I ended up having gained all that 90 pounds back. So um, just depending on what's going on in my life. So I am taking more before pictures uh, now because I want to give people like a record of this transformation. And like what I'm doing is just talking about how I'm going about the change. So the girls channel that I was watching last night it was like two years old. And so she was trying all these, it it reminded me of me because she was trying all these different things. And then I guess she got off of her channel for a while. And then when she came back on her channel, she had lost 50 pounds. So she was explaining to everyone how she lost it. Okay. Somebody's about to knock on my door. Okay. So got to go. I'll talk to you later. Someone's knocking. Okay. Got to, got to go. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to be doing my fiber tent. Bye.